The moon is about 4.5 billion years old and its surface is covered with thousands of craters. These craters are caused by the asteroids and meteorites colliding with the lunar surface. Early in the solar system's history, all of the planets and moons suffered through a period of heavy bombardment. This period ended by about 3.9 billion years ago. However, impacts still occur across our solar system but at a reduced rate. On Earth, plate tectonics and erosion covered up much of the evidence from this period. Approximately 80% of the Earth's surface is less than 200 million years old, while over 99% of the Moon's surface is more than 3 billion years old. So the history of the solar system is preserved on Moon's surface. Lunar craters are quite prominent depressions. Well-preserved large craters like Tycho, Copernicus, and Aristarchus have rim-to-floor depths of about 4.8 km, 3.8 km, and 3 km respectively. In relative terms, however, these large so-called complex craters are surprisingly shallow features. Their depths are only a small fraction, about 1 15th or 1 25th of their diameters. So these deep pits are actually shallower than dinner plates. In contrast, fresh craters smaller than about 15 to 20 kilometers in diameter have much higher depth to diameter ratios, close to 1 4th, looking more like soup bowls. The largest impact basin on the moon is 2500 kilometers in diameter and more than 13 kilometers deep, called the South Pole Atkin Basin and it was formed nearly 4 billion years ago. Scientists estimate that there are about 1 million craters more than 800 meters in diameter and more than 500 million craters more than 10 meters wide. The International Astronomical Union currently recognizes 9137 craters of which 1675 have been dated. The size and shape of the crater and the amount of material excavated depends on factors such as the velocity and mass of the impacting body and the geology of the surface. The faster the incoming impactor, the larger the crater. Meteorites can hit the surface of moon at speeds of 20 to 72 km per second. Such a high-speed impact produces a crater that is approximately 15 to 20 times larger in diameter and as much as 5 times deeper than the diameter of the impacting object. We know that the Earth tilts about its axis as it moves around the Sun, but Earth's moon doesn't tilt like this. Instead, there are craters near the moon's poles that never receive any sunlight, permanently engulfed in frigid darkness. These craters are appropriately called cold traps. They are pretty deep and very dark. Unfortunately, lack of sunlight also means it's challenging to see what's at the bottom of those craters. We know that inside these craters located near the moon's poles, temperatures can drop below minus 170 degrees Celsius, making them prime locations for water ice to collect. There are about 100 ping pong ball sized meteorites hitting the moon per day. That adds up to roughly 33,000 meteorites per year. Meteorites such as the ones 8 feet across slam into the moon about every 4 years. Those objects hit the moon with the force of a kiloton or thousand tons of TNT. Impacts involving asteroids the size of one kilometer in diameter or more are expected to only occur a couple of times in a million years. Although the moon experiences many impacts per year, that doesn't necessarily preclude a human presence. Considering the moon's surface area is about 38 million square kilometers, if you pick a square kilometer patch of ground, it will be hit by one of those ping-pong sized meteorites once every thousand years or so. So the odds are good for our future lunar explorers and their spacecraft. That's all for today's video, like and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.